Welcome again to GoLeopards.com. It's time for the Holy Cross Women's Scout here with Coach Ross James. And Ross, uh, you know, uh, Bill Gibbons has been there seemingly forever. He's got his system in, in, in place, but it seems they're in a bit of a rebuilding mode. They've got a really good player coming back in in uh, Raquel, Scott, uh, Raquel Scott, who is uh, among the leaders in the league, and of course the big kid in Emily Parker. But talk to us a little bit about how you went about preparing for them. Okay, yeah, a great team, as you mentioned, um, do a really good job of executing, whether it's a half-court offense, half-court defense. Our preparation for Holy Cross really started with uh, 31, Raquel Scott. You know, coming in myself, being new to the league, um, I think she's one of the premier post players in the league, so a lot of our focus goes into, you know, stopping her and what we can do to, you know, frustrate her a bit, if possible. Um, from there, we moved right on to uh, Lisa Misfood, a uh, good, strong guard, really their leader, and, you know, we got to do things to disrupt her as well. Now, historically, when Billy's teams come in here, they like to run. They like to get up and down the court. I had a chance to see Trisha Byrne last year when she played at Scranton Prep uh, in the uh, Pennsylvania tournament, uh, state tournament. Uh, and she's a kid that can play that up-tempo style. Do you see more of that on film, Ross? Or, or have, they, have they gone to more of a half-court game this year? No, I, I've seen exactly what you just said, especially with her in the lineup. She, if she gets the rebound, um, you know, she'll push it as if she's the point guard or the lead guard in that situation. The other ones will just fill the lanes and run. Also, same thing with Doherty. If she gets it, she can act as that lead guard as well and take control, take command of the troops, so to speak. So. Do you expect to see primarily man-to-man, -man or have you prepared for both? Uh, we've prepared for both. Uh, we expect to see uh, man early on and then maybe some zone later in the game to adjust our size. We have to talk about the unusual start time. Again, for those of you who are not aware, tomorrow is a community day of sorts. Uh, the game starts at 11 o'clock in the morning, and you've invited, uh, I think, every uh, every uh, you know intermediate school kid in the whole uh, in, the, in the whole state. Yeah, we're we're expecting uh, between 2,000 and uh, 2,200 kids, as you mentioned. So we're looking forward to a uh, packed house. It'll be a fun atmosphere if you've got some time tomorrow. And remember, you can watch the game here on GoLeopards.com. Uh, Click on the Patriot League Network, or you can watch it on LSN. We'll be here bright and early, Gary Laubeck and myself, and we hope to see you then.